The Sukhoi SU-25 A subsonic, single-seat, twin-engine jet aircraft produced by Sukhoi in the Soviet Union is the Sukhoi SU-25 Rook, NATO reporting name Frogfoot. It was created to give Soviet ground forces close air support assistance. The first prototype took off for the first time in Feb on February 22, 1975. Design and Development To offer close air support for Soviet ground forces, the Soviet Ministry of Defense decided to create a specialized Sturmovik armored attack aircraft in the early months of 1968. After researching the history of ground attack aviation in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, the concept of developing a ground attack support aircraft was born. The SU-7, SU-17, MiG-21, and MiG-23 were Soviet fighter bombers that were in service or being developed at the time that did not match the needs of the Army's close air support. The MiG-23 was also turned into the MiG-27 attack aircraft. They lacked the necessary armor plate to shield the pilot from missile strikes and uh, ground fire, and uh, their fast flying speed made it uh, challenging for the pilot to maintain visual contact with the target. With the aid of a premier institution for the Ministry of Aviation Industry, the Ministry of Defense, Pavel Sukhoi, and a team of top experts at the Sukhoi Design Bureau quickly began a preliminary per design work of these issues into consideration. Specifications Equipped with two Tumansky R195 turbojets, a 30 millimeter twin barreled Jish 30 2 autocannon with 250 rounds per gun, 11 hard points under the wings and fuselage that can carry up to 900 700 pounds of stores, which include UB 16 or UB 32 rocket pods, K 13, R 60, and R 73 missile air to air missiles KH23 KH25 KH29 and 9K121 surface to air missiles KH28 anti radiation missiles Beta 500 concrete penetrating bombs Fab 2 250 general purpose bombs FAB 500 GB bombs, CAB 500 KR, TV guided bombs, and ZAB 500 incendiary bombs. A top speed of 606 miles per hour, or Mach 0.79, a range of 620 miles, a combat range of 470 miles and a service ceiling of 23,000 feet. Variants The Sukhoi Design Bureau developed the SU-28, an enhanced basic jet trainer, as a personal project based on the SU-25 UB. The Czechoslovakian Aero L-39 Albatross will be replaced by the small aircraft known as the SU-28. The T-12 was a proposed successor to the SU-25. It would have utilized a twin fuselage and two cockpits. One would carry the pilot, who would also operate the plane's radar, while the other would carry the plane's weapons and fire control. Operators of a the SU-25 include Angola, Armenia, Azerbaijan, 
Belarus, Bulgaria, Chad, Dominican Republic of the Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Georgia, Gambia, Iran, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Mali, Niger, North Korea, Peru, Russia, Sudan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and former operators include Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic, the Ivory Coast, North Macedonia, Slovakia, and the Soviet Union. The Su-25 is currently being used on both sides of the Russo-Ukrainian War of 2022. The Ukrainians and the Russians are both using them as ground attack aircraft, and the so-called Ghost of Kiev, who might not even exist, has been said to shoot, has, has shot down some of them, when a few have been shot down by Ukrainian and Russian missile batteries. In the end, the Sukhoi Su-25 is a really good ground attack aircraft and is still being used like the A-10. It's comparable to, well, the A-10 Thunderbolt 2, the Ilyushin IL-102, the Northrop YA-9, and maybe the IAR-93? If you have any aircraft to recommend, leave them in the comments down below, and as always, I'll see you next time.